clearly all of our greys are blowing their coats. So in this episode of The Great Show of Greyhounds, I'm going to explain how we brush all of them to keep their coats soft, shiny, and healthy. When we got our first Greyhound five years ago, we were of the understanding that Greyhounds did not shed, and uh, <laughs> that could not be uh, further from the truth. <laughs> Although it is true that Greyhounds do not shed nearly as much as other breeds of dog because they do not have an undercoat. Sometimes people find that their allergies to pet dander are not um, exaggerated in the presence of a Greyhound. Because of all this, when it comes to grooming one of my own, I would not use um, this type of brush, it's an undercoat brush, because I think my dogs are gonna find this uncomfortable. Instead, I like to use what's called a grooming glove, and it's covered in these little rubber nubs that can massage the loose fur out of my Greyhound's skin. I can link a few of these in this video's description. Wilson, come here, your turn. Come here, buddy. Oh, yes. This brushing slash massaging not only cleans my dog's coat, but it can also be a very pleasant bonding experience. Now I can brush him in the same way that I would pet him, but I find that it actually works a lot better to go against the direction of his fur. It's kind of like a scrubbing motion. Okay, so Olive is 12 years old, and at this age, her skin is just more sensitive. So while she does enjoy being brushed, I have to be more gentle with her. This glove really allows you to dig into their coats, but I need to make sure not to dig so deep as she has indicated to me in the past, using the Greyhound Scream of Death, that intense brushing can be uncomfortable. All right, well, just need to shake this out. and the wind will blow this all away. Or, depending on the time of year, birds will collect it all and build their nests out of it. Now with Mate, this is usually more of a bonding experience. He usually does not shed, and I have noticed with most of our other black greyhounds that we have fostered, that they have even thinner coats than greys of other colors. Not really sure why that is, but it has been my perception with uh, all the fosters we've had. So this is mainly a full body massage for him rather than a grooming session. Clean him off now. Just covered in a little dry flaky skin. He's got some serious dandruff. In the next video that I'm gonna do, a follow up to this here later this month, I'm going to discuss some of the supplements that we give our dogs like salmon oil that can help reduce their skin's dryness and make their coats really soft and shiny. So a link to that episode, as well as the previous, can be found over here. You can also catch any other video at youtube.com slash greatshow. There's a link to subscribe to that YouTube channel right down here. Don't forget to follow us on social media at greatshow. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.